Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa coming to you live on the scripture prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. It's indeed an amazing time and we want to pray before we listen to the voice of the King. Father, we thank you this morning and we bless you, we honor you, we glorify you because there is no other King like you and we thank you for this morning. Have your way as we listen to your voice. Transform us and lift us from one level of glory to another. This is indeed our prayer this morning in Jesus' name. It is not over. It is not over. I want to read the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter number 52 and verse number 6. The Bible says from the King James Version this morning, I want to read, and I know that you're going to be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What the Bible says is Isaiah 52, verse number 6. Isaiah 52 and verse number 6. Very, very interesting that I want you to hear. Then you will know. Isaiah 52 from the New King James Version says, Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day. That I am he who speaks. Behold, it is I. Let me read this scripture again. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day. That I am he who speaks. Behold, it is I. I want to speak into your life this morning. Just to declare that uh, in another translation. The Bible says. That, well, it's not over. My people will know my name at the time that I determine. My people will see again who I am. I will tell them I am here and I am ready. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, yesterday, the FIFA World Cup began in Qatar. Now, what I want to bring to your understanding is that there are teams which will lose some games in this first level of the competition. But I can surprise you that some of these teams that lose some of the matches in the first round will qualify for the second round and sometimes they can even go further and even win the World Cup. And therefore, it is not always that when you lose one step in life, you cannot recover and succeed. So it is not over. And this morning I speak right into your spirit because I want you to know that no matter what you have lost so far, that is not only why you'll have no opportunity to get to another level. I want to tell you that you could still rise up and become that which God intends for you. Sometimes many people are stuck on past failures. They are stuck on places where things never worked. They are stuck on the people that disappointed them. They are stuck because individual A honest their lives. They are stuck. I want to tell you today it is not over. It is not over until God says it is over. And God is not about to say it is over because he says, I know the plans that I think towards you. They are not plans for evil, but to give you a future that you expect. So God's plan is that he's not done with you. He's not done with your life. He's not done with the strategy he has on your life. He's not done on his dreams on your life. And you must keep looking unto Jesus, as the Bible tells us, the author and the finisher of our faith. You must be a man or woman who will keep the faith, who will Keep the faith. Who will be determined to pursue that which God has created them to become. Praise the Lord. And so as I speak to you this morning, I want to encourage you in the name of Jesus. I want to speak into your life with all this confidence that it is not over. Don't give up. God says, and as he says, well, therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day. That I am he who speaks, behold, it is I. I want to tell you categorically, it is God that has the last word. It is God who calls the shots. 
It is God who makes everything to be the way it is. Praise the name of the Lord. He that spoke the world into existence has the capacity to change and to transform your life for the better. I come to speak into your spirit this morning. I don't know how disappointed you are. I don't know how challenged you are. I don't know what things are pressing onto your life this morning. But I want to declare into your life right now the favor of God. It is not over. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not over with your life. It is not over with my life. We believe God for the grace of God. We believe God for the power of God. We believe God for the manifold presence of the King. We believe God for favor. We believe God for reality. We believe God for the anointing. We believe Christ. So this morning, I want to submit to you this morning that it is not over. You might be down on your knees right now. You might be down. Your energies are down. You're just on the brink of giving up. I want to tell you this morning, it is not over. Dust yourself up, rise up, and continue to focus on what God is speaking in your life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, praise the name of the Lord. He who watches over Israel, neither slumbers nor sleeps. He that watches over your life does not slumber and he does not sleep. He has got a good plan for you, a good plan for me. I want to tell you that God calls the last shot. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, therefore, they shall know in that day. Oh, this is the day. Praise the name of the Lord. We sing so many, so many times. This is the day, the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in him. Praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in him. In that day they shall know that I am he who speaks. Behold, it is I. We want to listen to the voice of the Lord. We want to listen to the grace of God. We want to listen to the power of God. And we want to see the reality of God's power in our lives. Allow me to submit to you this morning. It is not over. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not over. Don't give up on your life. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the things God has told you he will do. Don't ever, ever give up. Praise the name of the Lord. May the good Lord bless you. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord shadow you with his blessings. And may he make you to overcome every step of your life because it is not over. Praise the name of the Lord. Arise, dust yourself up, be focused, continue to look into the one that God first spoke into your life, those dreams you had, those realities you saw those years back. It is God to it's, it's up to us now to believe God to rekindle them in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is what I came to speak to you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for the grace of God. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the revelation. Thank you for the anointing. Have your way in our lives, Lord Jesus. Be lifted and be honored, our God. Thank you for speaking to us that it is not over. And we believe, God, that my Father, moving forward, we're going to move in the grace and in the power of the Almighty God. I want to thank you, Elohim. I want to bless you and I want to thank you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. This has been your host, Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the scripture for daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The good Lord bless you, and I look forward to